Hey friends, what's going on? Uh, David Potts here. Quick lesson today on the F chord. And this is going to be on a voicing of the F chord. That is a way to play it with your left hand that instead of doing a, you know, a bar or even a, a, a partial version where our index finger is playing the low E string, I want to talk about this technique of using your thumb to wrap around the fretboard and kind of get that low E string to make a clean note on the first fret. Okay, so this is something I've sort of gotten really comfortable with for the first time ever after 15, 20 years of playing guitar in the last couple months. And I've noticed that as I've been doing a lot more finger picking, this is really a vital and helpful voicing to have under your control when you want to play the F chord. And there's a few reasons for that I'm going to teach you. So um, stick around. I have a PDF I made. If you want to sort of learn this and you don't want to be near a screen or a computer, um, it's a nice thing you can print out. You can put in your iPad or whatever, and it uh, has some close-up photos, and it's a good step-by-step -step way to learn this. So check out the website, playsongnotes.com. Thanks to all of you who support me on Patreon already. Uh, it's really appreciated, and um, I hope that you find something helpful in this lesson. But let's zoom on in and look at this new way to play the F major chord, which lets you do some cool finger-picking stuff. All right? Let's do it. Okay, so here we go. Basically, again, the F major chord, um, if you don't know it, it's just from thickest to thinnest string, first fret, third fret, third fret, second fret, first fret, first fret. Now normally when folks are learning the guitar, they're sort of, you sort of learn it like this typically. And it's a tough chord. It's one of those first sort of mini boss chords that um, gives you a lot of trouble at first, for sure. I mean, learning guitar is hard enough Took me years to get over the hump just with learning anything. And then uh, finally, this chord really stumped me for another year or two. But finally, I got it and everything. But I noticed when I'm doing finger picking, the style is, uh, it's just sometimes it's like too much effort when you're only sort of picking a few of the strings and it just really tires you out, right? So the, the new way I'm talking about here, we're gonna change a few things. First, our index finger is no longer gonna be barring, which is nice, right? Our index finger is going to be basically on this first fret of the second string. Okay, so we're going to start there, and then we'll put our middle finger down and our ring finger down. So on the second, third, and fourth string, second, third, and fourth string, we're going to do our index finger, our middle finger, and our ring finger. And this is like the, the nicest little version of F you could do, right? It's, it's the nice uh, one, three, five of an F major chord. So um, that's great. If you can do this, this is a nice little mini F, the miniest of Fs. But from there, the goal is then, how do we get our thumb right here? So when I first started seeing people do this or hearing about it, I was like trying to lift my, my uh, thumb over like this. The way I would approach learning this is as follows. First of all, understand that when you're pushing down a fret on any note in the guitar, you usually want to be closer to the actual you know, metal part of the fret here. You're not necessarily going to, you don't need to be in the middle. And some chords, you don't want to be in the middle, right? So with, when I'm, what I'm talking about here is we're basically going to be getting our index finger. It's going to be pushing down. like all, It almost looks like it's on the second fret, basically. You know, I'm basically on the fret there, but it's still making that first fret sound. So I'd experiment with fingers in weird ways to see how low you can get your fingers, but still get that first fret sound, right? And, you know, this is ridiculous. This looks like uh, Bill and Ted, but basically, you know, I, I recommend really getting to know your guitar in that way because what the goal is going to be is, is how I'd approach this is take your thumb, thumbs up, right? All good. Um, basically put it so the, the middle part of your thumb is equal with your fret itself. And you sort of want to go over like in that motion. But at the same time, you want to like roll back roll like you know up up the fretboard so basically what we're going to be doing ultimately is this this is the voicing right here so it's there and then roll back okay so that's what our thumb is going to want to do now the tricky part is is how do you get your thumb to do that while your other fingers are doing this cleanly right and then also we might want to bring in our pinky sometimes So we have to have mastery with these fingers first. So I would almost recommend getting these comfortable, these three fingers comfortable with this position first. Get real comfortable with that, right? Go from a C to that F, right? Um, make, make sure you know this backwards and forward and then sort of bring that thumb, just sort of do what I told you as far as getting your thumb uh, in that position. 
And then when you're learning the thumb part, have your other fingers, your ring, your middle, your index finger in that spot. So when you get it, basically, um, it'll be, um, these fingers will be ready and your thumb is finally making that clean note. And don't expect the clean note necessarily to come overnight. Uh, I, I recommend giving this concerted, dedicated practice a few times a day, a few days in a row. If you can do that, um, it'll get the muscles used to it. It'll sort of toughen up the skin where it needs to push down cleanly on the string. And then once you have it, here's a few exercises you can do. One is just basically going um, from a finger picking style. Is practice with your thumb going from the sixth to the fourth string. And that's something you can do just with your fourth string, um, uh, ring finger, third fret, and your thumb. But again, I recommend putting your middle finger and ring, uh, index finger down. Once you do that, you know, that alternating, you can kind of bring in the second and third string if you want. You can do this too. That's another exercise you could do. And this is a benefit, a reason to do this at all, is because you can hammer on that third string from open to second fret. It's tough. It's it's dang tough to do for sure. But it's a good little benefit. Another one is um, I learned a song by John Prine or uh, Blaze Foley where, or you know, it was Guy Clark. Having your pinky down on that um, second string on the third fret, but then going to the regular F. That's one uh, for sure. Another little exercise. My, my whole point in teaching you this is there's basically lots of ways you can sort of make this fun. And the final challenge of this entire F chord is getting, um, once you learn what I just showed you, is being able to take your index finger and then bar the, high, the first fret on the high E string as well. So first fret on the B string and on the E string. And do that while you're doing this. Lots of finger picking songs I've learned recently will sort of do this. This is super tricky to do, and because it, it feels like you're basically wanting to pull your hand this way to get the bar working. But the more you do that, the trickier it is to keep your ring and middle finger from accidentally hitting the first two strings. And meanwhile, you want to keep your thumb in the sound position as well. So ultimately though, that's the sort of how I would approach learning this, you know, master the, get these comfortable first, your index, your middle, your ring, know that sort of home base, then bring in the thumb with the technique I showed you, sort of push it down, roll it up. And then, only then, once you have this comfortable, you can add your pinky and you can sort of try to do the bar. Okay? But anyway, that's how to do this little technique. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, check out the PDF at my website. Thanks to all of you all who are supporting me on Patreon. Um, I really appreciate it. It really keeps the fire burning in the engine of mine to keep making these lessons. And I just want to share this stuff because I've learned so many songs with this F in particular where I have struggled to... I could play this F chord, but to keep this for a whole finger picking song was just like killer, man. Oh God, it was like a, it was a workout that, that was sort of wasteful because I'm only playing two or three of the strings with my finger picking fingers. So this approach, once you learn it, is a good one. All right, so uh, thanks all for watching. I'm gonna go now, have a good one. Check out my other lessons, share this with a friend and have a great, day, week, weekend, wherever you are when you're watching this. Bye-bye.